Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we are talking all about the map size of GTA 6 and the possibility that it could be the entire United States. So this has been a rumor that has been floating around for quite a while now, and I wanted to dedicate an entire video to it because first off, it is a super interesting rumor and it is super compelling. And then number two, I want to talk about how the next generation consoles might be able to handle this and how this actually could work out if Rockstar goes this route. So we got a ton of really awesome and interesting information to go over in this video, so if you have not already, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into a two-week shout-out of the day, and a wrap out, we'll get into the actual video. So the first quick shout-out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel, also known as The Mighty Forks TMF. They have some really awesome content over on their channel surrounding the popular video game, also known as Brawl Stars. Now, if you guys have not heard about Brawl Stars yet, it is a super awesome online competitive video game. You guys should totally check it out because it is super fun to play. So they have some really awesome and informative content surrounding that game over on their channel, and they also host some really awesome monthly giveaways for their subscribers. So make sure you check out their channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some really awesome videos. And the final quick shout out of a goes to another awesome channel, also known as AD Centric. They have a really awesome vlogging channel where they travel all around the world and visit some super cool places and show you guys what it's about and how it feels like to be there. Their vlogs are super well edited and they also feel super super natural to watch, so make sure you guys check out their channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some really awesome videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into this video. So arguably the biggest thing about GTA 6 that has been rumored recently is the location and also the release date. Now in terms of location, there has been a handful of different rumors, and just to name the top three, the number one is going to definitely be Vice City, number two is the possibility of Liberty City, and number three is the possibility of doing a mine minor version of the whole United States in one. Now obviously number three is probably going to be the most intriguing option for most people since it first off it isn't a location that we have seen before in a previous GTA game and also it seems like it is going to be the biggest map out of all of them. Now we can obviously confirm at this point that GTA 6 will be a PS5 and next generation Xbox game whenever it does come out sometime in probably 2021 or somewhere around that realm and it will be taking advantage of course of the next gen hardware. Now the awesome thing about that is we actually already know all of the main specs of the PS5 because the lead architect of the PS5 itself actually did an interview with Wired Magazine and released a lot of the major specs. So the question really comes down if Rockstar will be able to make a map the size of a miniature version of the United States. So the biggest upgrade with the next generation consoles is going to be the upgrades within the CPU and also the GPU acceleration. And on top of that it really depends on how optimized the game is for each one of the consoles and also also how Rockstar wants to make the map in terms of scale. I believe it is pretty obvious to say that it is pretty much impossible within 2019 standards and probably in the years to come to make a game the size of the entire United States without making anything smaller or anything the miniature size that it actually is. So if Rockstar were to do this, they would be making some small communities which will be acting as each state. And I think the best way to look at this is how Rockstar has been progressing throughout the years in terms of their games. Red Dead Redemption 2 has an absolutely massive map, and if we're going in the right direction, GTA 6 will have an even bigger one. And I'm sure for all of you that played Red Dead Redemption 2 already out there that are watching this video right now, I believe you can all agree that the Red Dead Redemption 2 map is absolutely massive, and honestly, some people say it might be too big. Myself personally, I'm 100% okay with large game maps, especially like it is inside Red Dead Redemption 2, as long as there is a quick travel option within the game, so you don't need to ride your horse, or in the case of GTA, riding your car around the entire map, as long as there is a quick travel option to make the drive a little bit easier across the entire map, I'm completely fine with that, but the map size is definitely something that will be a large achievement within GTA 6. Now even if Rockstar decides to go with Vice City like it is currently rumored for GTA 6, that doesn't stop them from making an absolutely massive map. While the original GTA Vice City didn't have the biggest map ever, it could totally be even bigger because Rockstar can expand it and also make it up to the next generation standards, which the next generation consoles should be able to handle as long as the game is optimized properly. So I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below regarding this. If you had the three options I'm going to mention right now in terms of a GTA 6 setting, which one would you want to pick? Would you pick A, Vice City, B, Liberty City, or 3, a miniature version of the entire United States? Now until then, we don't have much information in terms of leaks or rumors surrounding the actual location of GTA. GTA 
26. The only rumor we have right now is Vice City because people are saying that Rockstar is planning to return to it according to insider sources, but again, we really don't have any confirmed information, so as of the moment when I'm recording this video, honestly, we really don't know. Now, for those of you that have been following the news of Red Dead Redemption 2 for years now, you will know that the map actually got leaked on a website about a couple years before the game even got announced, and nobody believed it, and we actually can look back at that image, and it was very, very accurate. Now, at the moment, we don't have any images like that for GTA 6, for proper reason, because Rockstar obviously likes to keep a tight ship and not let any information leak, but it's only a matter of time until we get some more information that we can report on. But for those wondering, those are the three main options that we see right now in terms of GTA 6. Vice City, Liberty City, and a miniature version of the US are probably going to be the three contenders we can look at. But either way, that's pretty much all the information we know as of the moment. I really want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below regarding this. Which location would you like to see for GTA 6 and why? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. And also, if you have not already, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. And also, so you guys stay up to date with the latest GTA 6 news and content out there right now. But either way, thank you for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I'll be sure to speak to you guys tomorrow with yet another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.